Hi and uh, welcome back to another uh, cleaning tutorial. This time we have the iconic uh, Nintendo Zapper. Um, this is a later model, it's the red one, the original is uh, grey. Uh, but we're going to take this apart, give it a nice good cleaning and uh, you know, put it back together again. So, first things first, um, this just uses standard Phillips screws. Um, there are going to be uh, five screws uh, going down the handle uh, and two smaller ones up here which are actually flat heads so you do need a very fine uh, piece of flat head. Let's see if we can show that. So you can see here these are really really tiny. Um, there's also going to be a hidden uh, Phillips screw underneath uh, the top here so um, I always recommend uh, you know one of these screws here. Uh, I basically have uh, a lot of different uh, sizes and so on. These are just Phillips and flatheads, so they're really interchangeable, which makes this really easy. So uh, we're going to just take this apart. There we go. So uh, all the screws are out, and the first thing you, you would do is take off this brace. Um, Basically, this is just the logo, and the bottom piece comes out right there. And uh, as you can see, this is where the uh, uh, last screw is hiding to open up this uh, peripheral. So we're going to take that out. Like so. And uh, we can then uh, dismantle the gun itself. And uh, first things first, let's take off the lens at the top here. You'll see this just slides out. Now obviously with any kind of lenses, you know, you should never scratch them. So when you do clean them, be very careful. But we're going to just toss that in the water, let that soak. Um, as for this piece right here, you can just toss that in the water as well, let that uh, soak. Now, here's the interesting part of the uh, light gun itself. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of electronics in here, so you know, got to be careful around uh, moisture. you got the trigger mechanism here in the middle, and uh, always a nice sound. But uh, <clears throat> I do recommend that you do not open this. Um, it is very, you know, difficult putting back together again. And uh, also, if any of the pieces in here starts to, you know, if you... It, basically, if you do any mistakes in here, it's going to be really, really difficult. Um, so instead, I would just take this uh, out of the plastic and then uh, clean the plastic by itself. Um, you can also see that you have some uh, magnets at the tip here. And uh, basically when the signal comes from the TV, this, uh, uh, these magnets will central, uh, centralize that, bring it into the light sensor at the tip, which will then you know, register a hit or a miss. Um, so these magnets are glued in place. Uh, so you can wiggle them out. And as you can see right here, you have a little uh, uh, foam uh, like support. Basically, it just uh, makes sure that this does not rattle around in there. Uh, and that is glued in place. So, for that reason, I would not put this in the water. I do not want this glue to come apart. And, uh, you know, this thing is basically just uh, duct taped together. Um, so, you know, this is another one that I would just leave alone. Uh, just do some, you know, minor cleaning on that. Uh, you also got another set of magnets down here which also pop out. And same thing with that, got the styrofoam uh, cushion right there. So instead, we're going to take out the entire housing. And it's the same kind of screws as you would have on the front. Um, so. You just open this up. Uh, 
And actually, let me show you what I'm doing here. So, um, as you can see here, there are three bigger screws. There's one here, one here, and one here. Um, all those screws are doing is keeping this in place. Uh, the smaller screws, which are the same diameter as the ones that were on the tip here, um, they're keeping the housing together. So by taking off the big ones, you can take this whole thing apart. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take it out uh, and expose the plastic. There you go. So screws are out. We can now lift this whole thing out. And uh, just start with this, which is the most sensitive part, which is the light sensor. And, uh, you know, lift this whole thing out like so, wiggle out the cord, and uh, there you are. So I'll just make some room for this over here. And now you can see how the plastic actually looks with the two uh, styrofoam, uh, well not styrofoam, but you know, foam uh, mattress padding. Uh, so we're not going to throw this in the water because I don't want the glue to come off. So instead, we're just going to, you know, do some minor cleaning with the uh, Q-tip. It actually doesn't look that bad. It looks very clean. So, you know, that makes that easy. Um, same with the, this piece right here. We're going to clean that with the Q-tip um, and make sure that uh, we don't uh, destroy the uh, electronics and then go over the uh, contact points here so let's get to it oh and we can toss this in the water that's just plastic so there you go and uh, whenever I clean uh, electronic parts I always use alcohol um, just in case um, you know I do get something on there it's going to evaporate right away and uh, I'd rather not take any kind of chances. As for this piece, I'm just going to use soapy water. So, but let's do this one first here. So. There we go. So now we're just going to let this uh, uh, dry for some time and then uh, come back and uh, put it back together again. Okay, so uh, this has had uh, time to uh, thoroughly dry up, so we're going to put it back together again. And we actually start by uh, taking uh, uh, the brace part, uh, which is where the logo is. Uh, we'll slide that. Basically, it just pops into these rivet holes here, like so. And um, we'll take the uh, lens and uh, there's a little groove um, right here that that just pops right into like that. It's a tight fit, so it won't go anywhere. Next, we'll uh, take the uh, magnets and uh, place them inside here. Like so. And uh, we can take uh, these magnets as well. Now, with this piece right here, you'll see that there's a little indentation uh, right here on one side. And uh, that's the side that goes up to the trigger mechanism. Um, and, uh, and we'll take the trigger mechanism itself. And uh, as I mentioned before, be very careful with this. Uh, you don't want to accidentally tear out um, some of the cords and electronics. So we're going to just slide that in. Let's see, we'll pop this around first here. Makes it a little easier to align everything. Let's take that and wiggle the cords around the screw bases, like so. And then as for this piece, uh, there's actually going to be some uh, grooves right here that just slides into that. And there's really only one way that that can go in. Uh, Nintendo has been really clever about how to set everything up. So there is only one way that things will go together. 
uh, which is really nice. So we're just going to put this cord out of the way here, like so. Make sure we don't pinch any of these when we start screwing everything together. Like so. There we go. And then this just wraps in and around these screws. And then that is going to pop in to that opening right there. So, like that. <clears throat> there we go. And then we just uh, put the three screws down to uh, lock in the uh, trigger mechanism. There we go, so the trigger mechanism is in, all the parts are in. We can now take uh, the next piece of the puzzle and just slide that on top. And then we're going to put in the hidden screw uh, next. That just goes in at the top here. And then follow that with the uh, top piece of the brace and uh, screw that in place. There we go. And the final two screws are the tiny ones, which we need the small flat head. So we're going to put those in as well. There we go. So the only thing left is to basically put some uh, pledge on this. So just take a paper towel and uh, some pledge surface cleaner. And uh, as I mentioned in uh, other videos, um, this is uh, to create a uh, uh, protective uh, film over your uh, gaming peripherals and it's going to resist dust, grease um, and all of the you know the other things that uh, make this terrible uh, in addition to giving it a nice shine uh, making it look like it's brand new um, so just rub that in like so And uh, that's all. So we've got a new nice set of uh, Nintendo Zapper. Thank you for watching.